Today, we're delving into the depths of Russia's beverage culture to uncover the secrets behind a drink that's been tantalizing taste buds for centuries. Have you ever wondered what Russians have been sipping on for hundreds of years? Well, subscribe and get ready to raise your glasses as we dive into the rich history of kvass, Russia's beloved traditional bread drink. Let's turn back the pages of history to ancient Russia, a time when the land was vast and the summers sweltering. In these scorching temperatures, people sought relief, not just from the heat, but from their parched throats. And so, from the humble corners of rustic kitchens emerged kvass, a beverage both simple and profound in its creation. In the 10th century, as villagers toiled in the fields and craftsmen labored in their workshops, there arose a need for refreshment that could fuel their spirits and quench their thirst. It was amidst this backdrop that kvass found its origins. Imagine, if you will, a bubbling cauldron filled with a concoction that would soon become the elixir of the masses. Kvass begins its journey with the simplest of ingredients, bread, water, and a touch of sweetness. The process is as old as time itself. Stale bread, no longer fit for the table, is given new life as it undergoes fermentation. Yeast, nature's own alchemist, works its magic, transforming the humble bread into a beverage worthy of kings and peasants alike. And thus, from the depths of obscurity, kvass emerges, a drink that would not only quench the thirst of the masses, but would also weave its way into the very fabric of Russian culture. But the story of kvass doesn't end here, my friends. Oh no, it's merely the beginning of a journey through time and taste that will leave you thirsting for more. As the centuries passed and empires rose and fell, kvass remained a steadfast companion to the Russian people. Its journey through time is a testament to its enduring popularity and cultural significance. From the bustling markets of medieval Moscow to the grand halls of the Tsar's palace, kvass was a drink enjoyed by all walks of life. Its versatility and refreshing taste made it the perfect accompaniment to hearty meals and lively celebrations. Picture this, a grand feast laid out before you, with dishes overflowing with the bounty of the land. And at the center of it all, a jug of kvass, its amber hue beckoning you to take a sip and savor the flavors of Russia. Whether you were a humble peasant tending to the fields or a nobleman dining in luxury, kvass was the drink of choice for all occasions. Its accessibility and affordability meant that no one was left thirsty in the vast expanse of the Russian countryside. But kvass was more than just a beverage. It was a symbol of Russian identity and resilience. In times of hardship and strife, it provided comfort and nourishment to those who needed it most. Fast forward to the present day, and kvass has transcended its humble origins to become a global sensation. While its roots may lie in the heart of Russia, its influence knows no bounds, captivating taste buds across continents. In today's fast-paced world, where trends come and go with the blink of an eye, kvass remains a steadfast fixture in Russian culture. Whether enjoyed on a hot summer's day or as part of a traditional feast, its timeless appeal continues to endure. But what is it about kvass that has captivated the world's attention? Well, aside from its refreshing taste and rich history, kvass also boasts a myriad of health benefits that have garnered it a loyal following among health-conscious consumers. Made from natural ingredients and fermented to perfection, kvass is teeming with probiotics and nutrients that are not only good for your gut, but also for your overall well-being. It's no wonder that health enthusiasts everywhere are swapping sugary sodas for this ancient elixir. And the best part? Kvass is more accessible than ever before. No longer confined to the streets of Moscow or the villages of Siberia, kvass can now be found lining the shelves of supermarkets and specialty stores around the world. As with any beloved beverage, kvass is not without its controversies. While it boasts a rich history and a legion of devoted fans, it also faces scrutiny from critics who question its health implications and consumption practices. Let's dive into the heart of the kvass conundrum, shall we? One of the primary concerns surrounding kvass is its fermentation process, which can sometimes lead to varying alcohol levels. While traditionally considered a non-alcoholic beverage, some variations of kvass may contain trace amounts of alcohol, raising eyebrows among teetotalers and health advocates alike. But fear not, for moderation is key. While it's true that certain types of kvass may contain slightly elevated alcohol levels, the vast majority of commercially available kvass is perfectly safe for consumption, even for those abstaining from alcohol. Another point of contention is kvass's sugar content. 
Like many fermented beverages, kvass relies on sugar to fuel the fermentation process, resulting in a beverage that can be quite sweet to the palate. While a little sweetness can certainly enhance the drinking experience, excessive sugar consumption has been linked to a myriad of health issues, including obesity and diabetes. So it's important to enjoy kvass in moderation and be mindful of your sugar intake. So where does this leave us in the grand scheme of things? Is kvass a friend or foe to our health? Well, like any indulgence, it ultimately comes down to personal choice and responsibility. By being aware of what we consume and how much, we can enjoy kvass as part of a balanced diet and lifestyle. And there you have it, the fascinating history of kvass, a drink that's as complex and nuanced as the country that gave birth to it. So next time you're in Russia or feeling adventurous in your kitchen, why not give kvass a try? Who knows, you might just discover your new favorite drink. Until next time, keep exploring the world one bite at a time with Foodstorian. Nas Dorovi.